Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fusion tutorial. In today's video, we are gonna make these little PVC pipe elbows so we can make this cool little PVC house. My kids love playing with these kind of things. They can drape blankets over top and make little homes and forts and you can easily take it apart when you're done. So let's hop over to Fusion and get started. All right, so here in Fusion, we're gonna try to make this project as simple as we can. And again, the idea here is function over form. I don't really care if it's the most beautiful looking PVC pipe joint. I just want it to work really well and not break and print really well. So we're gonna keep it really simple. Um, we're just gonna use a sphere and cylinder to, to basically make these joints. And you can make any shape joint you want or any angled joint you want with this. So let's go up to create and let's start by creating a sphere. And so we're going to click on any plane and then just click on the origin. And I have done this before, so my measurements are already in here. 20.9 millimeters is a great starting point for this uh, PVC joint for three quarter inch PVC. It is a very tight fit. Uh, it's definitely not coming apart uh, without a little t struggle. If you want it to be a looser fit, maybe go down to 20.8. But you don't want it to be too loose because you don't want the structure falling apart. So let's just hit OK. Now I'm going to come over here and just name this sphere and I'm going to hide that for now. And now we're going to create a cylinder. I'm going to click that same plane and then start at the origin, type in 20.9, hit enter, and then just pull this up to about 50 inches, 50 millimeters and hit okay. And so the reason we made that sphere is because the sphere is like kind of like a nice end cap, a nice rounded cap for this cylinder. But we don't want to turn that on yet. So the first joint I'm going to make to make that little house in the beginning of the video is a 90 degree joint. So looking at the front view here, this arm, we want another arm coming 90 degrees this way. So let's hide the sphere. All I'm gonna do is hit M on my keyboard for move, and I'm gonna come and, and it's just gonna kind of snap to the center of that circle profile of that cylinder. And from here, we can create copy, make sure we create copy is checked. And as we use this handle to rotate it, it actually creates another copy of that sphere. So now we have two. Now we also need at, in this angle, uh, this one coming at 90 degrees this way. So we're basically just going to do it again. I'm gonna hide that leg we just made, hit M for move, click the center, make sure your uh, move tools are in the right orientation, create copy, and 90 degrees again, and hit okay. And so now if we turn all of those on, we have kind of a nice corner elbow and if we turn that sphere on, that sphere just kind of closes in this gap. So let's make everything a one body here. So I'm gonna to go to modify, combine, and the target body we'll just make as the sphere. Make sure operation is set to join. And then we're just gonna, for the tool bodies, is the tool bodies is what we're gonna to join to the target body. So we're going to select all of those and then hit OK. And when we do that, now we have just, we're left with that one body. And I guess we don't want to name that sphere. We can just do like 90 degree elbow. Grab my W. And I've put my W in the wrong spot. Riveting. Okay. So to finish this off, we have to do a few more things. Remember, one of the goals was just functionality, straight function. But the other goal was to make this really easy to print. And if this surface right here was going to be on the print bed, the bottom side of these circles just won't print very well without support. So we have to do something about that. So let's create a construction plane. And we're going to just use this plane right here. And I've already done this before, so I'm gonna, and for you, you might just wanna like play with this distance here to see what you like, but I like negative 7.5. That prints, that makes it print really well. We're gonna use this plane to basically slice off the bottom of these two arms. So let's go to modify, 
and split body. Whenever you use a tool up here, almost always a window pops up and it basically tells you exactly what to do. So first it wants us to select the body to split. Well, that's this, so we can click that and you can see it says one selected. The next step down is the splitting tool. So if we wanna click this box and then select our splitting tool, which will be that plane that we just created. You can see it kind of shows a red circle where it's gonna slice through it. And then we can just hit okay. And now you notice we have two bodies here. This body is the part we cut off and then the other body is what we want. So we can just hide that body. Now you could remove it too. You could just right click on it and don't hit delete, just hit remove. And now if we look at this view here, you can see this angle should be able to be printed just fine in the 3D printer. Now we wanna ease over these edges so it fits into our PVC pipe a little easier. So I'm gonna chamfer and we're just gonna select these faces and I'm gonna hit two millimeters and hit okay. And that's pretty much it. Um, I guess I could show you the other one I made, um, even though it's kind of the same process. So honestly, you could probably just stop watching the video here, but if you want to see me go through this process again for the 135 degree one, um, keep on watching. So I'm gonna hide this body and we're basically just going to do it all over again. And you know what? I bet we can just keep this construction plane because we'll just use uh, this to cut away the bottom of the next one. So let's do what we did before. I'm just gonna hide that plane for now. Let's do create sphere. And we're gonna create it in the bottom plane with this. We've got our measurement. Then I'm going to create a, I'm gonna hide that sphere create the cylinder. I'll go through this one just a little faster. Let's do our cylinder at 20.9 and we'll go up to 50. And for this one, we want 135 degrees. That will be the corner of the house. And if, if this video doesn't get too long, I'll kind of show you that in a sketch. So let's do M for move. Make sure we're, we're in the right orientation here create copy, and I'm gonna go down to 135. Hit okay. Now in this orientation, we want this arm to be another arm 90 degrees to that. So I'm gonna just hide this body, hit M for move, create copy. We'll go 90, hit okay. And then we can turn all of these bodies back on and join everything. So modify, combine, just select all these, hit okay. And then let's see if we got our plane in the right spot. So we drew this in a different orientation. So that construction plane that we made is not in the right spot. That's fine. We can just do another construction plane right here. And we're gonna do that negative 7.5, hit okay split body, split it with this construction plane and hit okay. And then I'm going to remove that. And of course we put these both on top of each other. So I'm just gonna take this body, I'm gonna hit M for move. And we're just gonna move this over and I might just rotate it 90 degrees. Hit OK. And there we have our two elbows we need. Okay, so, um, oops, I didn't chamfer this. So let's do a real quick chamfer. I'll do two again. Hit OK. Okay, so these uh, two elbows really are the only thing you need to create that little house. Um, now you could, you could do whatever combination of angle and as many arms as you want with this pretty simple method and they should print really really well so i will leave a link to maker world if you just want to download these two little elbows um, and build yourself a house with some three quarter inch schedule 40 pvc 
If you want to create your own, I would love to see it. I did create a Facebook group uh, for this channel. It's not very active, and honestly, I'm not very active on it, but it's a good way for people who are watching, if they want to show off the projects they made, to post it on there. I will leave a, a, a link to that Facebook page in the description. So I hope you enjoyed it. Easy project. Anyone can do it, and I hope I get to see what you guys make. All right. Have a good day, guys.